Hello, beta testers. In 2017, games journalist Jason Schreier sat down with an insomniac developer who wondered if Spider-Man would release around the same time as Rocksteady's next game. Jason says he should have been wondering about Spider-Man 2. History seems to repeat itself so fast in the gaming industry. Publishers and developers trying to tell the player what they want, only to be forced to patch or update in the correction to their mistake down the line. As abysmal a departure from what satisfies consumers as Sushi Squad is, there was a chance they could have kept this afloat by hunting for whales among the fanboys. But in my not-so-humble opinion, Batman has fans. Superman has fans. The Sushi Squad? Especially with a deliberately downgraded Harley? Come on, man. I can see the exact same mistakes that Marvel's Avengers made. It is my assertion that Sushi Squad will not and potentially cannot get rid of its point of contention with every player, the always online. After the justified backlash, it is clear they are needing to reassess what apparently they didn't recognize was something that needed more polish at the time. Another product they were planning to kick right out that door before they even finished it. We are calling it earliest access and we think it will be a revolutionary way to hastily rush unfinished game content out to consumers. Does this recognition of a lack of interest from people signal that they are being forced to consider something like Game Pass or PlayStation Plus? Never initially, I'd imagine. They'd want to make whatever money they can, and when it's clear that they can't make no mo, then they'd go whatever sad, unfortunate route they'd be forced to. But if we're being honest with ourselves here, man, is a beta or a early access so out of the question? When you know that you could nickel and dime those, let's call them Avengers Refugees at this point. That game receives its last update today. And some of those people, they would probably, <laughs> they would probably keep paying for whatever you put in front of them. Uh, it's not pretty. But while you're picking up Genshin and Fortnite scraps for the minimum amount of effort that you're willing to put out, here's what really pisses me off about that state of play, if I can speak a little Kyle candidly. You know, you're a gun fucking game. And if we're willing to accept it, we're willing to accept it. But you didn't really show off any badass looking guns. You're a looter. But you didn't really show off any badass looking loot all of the gameplay that was shown in that state of play it looked like the kind of preview for a, an ability you know you hover your your cursor over an ability and you don't know what that does so maybe it plays a quick little video to show you what it's like that's what your gameplay looked like and then the density of the enemies was so small that it was almost as if it was exclusively to show us what this looks like as opposed to what the engine can do. Show what the engine can do. And that nobody knew that, that's what grinds the gears. I don't believe that you work on something rock steady for eight plus years and don't know how to show it off unless there is nothing to show off. Cutscenes and a Kevin Conroy performance could sell your game alone. But the expectation is so much more. There should be a game in there, man. I am thankful for how wary Marvel's Avengers has made the consumer. I am thankful for Elden Ring and Hogwarts Legacy for reminding people in the industry that are creating that fans like what they like. You're going to be getting that lesson again when Street Fighter hits. And if you're not the type to just get with that program, then find something else to fuck up, you know? There's got to be some, you know, Life is Strange type games out there that you can make. Get out.
That doesn't make me a gatekeeper. It's low quality and it won't make money. And we are warning you. And to reiterate, I'm well aware that many of the problems people take issue with are issues because of publishers passing down sort of mandates. But uh, nobody is forcing those developers to make women ugly deliberately. Those developers would be much happier in an indie studio and don't need to play with the big boys literally (laughs) making something unappealing. To have the whole, oh, the gamers are wrong argument all over again. Like it's Saints Row. Jesus. Let's go pet your damn cat and and develop literally something else. Because we are not wrong. We're the consumer, the customer. And we know what we like very well. You changing what it is and deciding that if we don't like it, we are blank. Those times are done now. As it stands, I believe Sushi Squad stands no chance surviving as a live service, having repelled as many potential consumers as it has. When it does make another reappearance, I think it should adhere to the bingo card with with outlined, uh, let's call them bullet points of things people might like. I... I hope that they push forward a character. Maybe Red Hood. Something really... uh, Is there punching in it? You just don't know. If, if If melee combat looked like it existed in that game based on what they showed us outside of a couple of takedowns, you know? It's gotta be there. It's a perk on some of the gear. But... You'd show it, right? You'd show it. This thing, this thing's not ready. Just like sushi, it's uncooked. And wh- how do you not cook something for eight years? Because you were confused about the recipe. That's not on us, man. You can't pass that failure on to the good consumer. And if you do, if that's what you represent, Rock steady in name only. <sighs> It'll be how you're remembered. Just like 343 will be remembered for killing Halo. Thank you for watching this far. I love you to death. I hope you've enjoyed what I've mixed up here today. I hope that you have a great rest of the day, rest of the week. You know, tell me what you're feeling. Tell me how you're thinking. Jump into the Discord if that's what you're about, and I will catch you in the next one. This is the end of March. I wish you a happy April. Stay out of, you know, foolishness tomorrow. Bye. And then go off to the right. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's <laughs> <laughs> I did not hit her. It's almost I there. Let me see if I can get it better. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs>